Greetings, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to another Great American Survival. In today's video, we're going to be showing you the new Yak Attack Black Pack Pro. Now, I've had the Yak Attack Black Pack, the new canoe version, um, ever since I got my new canoe Flint. Um, I've really enjoyed it, but the new one is just incredible. The, the few things that I didn't like about the original Black Pack, they fixed. They made the modularity and the way you can adjust it are endless. I mean, just so many great options. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to show you guys what they sent us and tell you all about it because it's awesome. So let's go. This video is intended for all ages. All right, so let's start off. Boom, look at that beautiful thing. Look at that. I mean, that looks tactical. Very cool. Let's open it. Let's get it out of there. I haven't even taken it out of the box. They've shipped it. Big box. They packaged it in a box from, that was NRF's PFDs, Chinooks. It's funny because I never knew they were made in Cambodia. Very cool. Man, look at that thing. No, I don't want to talk to you about my car's extended warranty. All right. And now, so what I've done is I didn't waste your time and show you guys. So this is the new Yak Attack Black Pack Pro. Very, very cool. A uh, few things we didn't like about the Yak Attack, the other Black Pack was um, you couldn't really mount anything to it. They have taken all that away. Look at this. Look at all these mounts. All these are holes where you can mount stuff. Um, I had to install these rod holders. Now, the only thing about this is I'll have to switch this and I'll put the handle on the front and on the back so I can put another rod holder here. Um, for me, the way I run my kayak is I need it to be able to open left to right like this. And it makes it where when I'm in my seat, I can just reach back and get it. And I like the fact that latches, the latches, check these out. Uh, the latch, boom, just like that. Push down right here and pull. Boom. No, the other one had this bungee that you had to modify uh, and do a couple different things. Very cool. Uh, inside, 13 by 16. So 13 by 13 is a milk crate. This is 13 by 16, so it's a little bit bigger. Holds those 3,700 boxes that we all come to love. But I mean, like I said, look at all these mounts. You can mount stuff from this direction into these holes. Um, you can mount stuff in all these holes, all these up here, all this. You can put gear tracks and tie down nets and all kinds of stuff. Um, what I was looking at and I was trying to figure out is what all I can put on here to make it where it's just going to be easier to use. So there's a lot of options. One thing I thought was really cool is these right here. These little rod sleeve, uh, rod bungees. They're self-contained. The bungee goes down and around it. You can take it out. And you can loop it over here and lock it like that so it's out of your way. Or you can leave it like this. And then when you pull up on, put a rod in here, you just pull this up and hook it on something. Or you just fold it around the front and hook it on your rod. However you wanted to do it. Um, you can pull it up and hook it on one of the eyelets and keep it down in there. So it's pulling it down and in. So lots of different options. But I like it. Um, this, for those of you that don't know, this is the original black pack. Now this is the new canoe version. So I've installed gear tracks up here. That's gonna come in handy. Um, usually I have a quick mount like the one up there. That one way up there. That one's usually one of these on here. Uh, little bungee is how you tie it off. And then boom, 3600s across like this, 3700s across like this. Boom. But I still like the black pack. I like this because I have a, I have a little strap throw it on here, pick the whole thing up, stick my six rods down in there or five rods in my net, whichever way I want to do it. And I can carry this, like if I go and I fish somebody with somebody in their boat, I can carry this and this, even though it's as big as it is, it's still very nice and very small and very self-contained to where I can carry all my crate, all my boxes and all my stuff and I mean everything. It's just really well done. Now this, now the newer one is a little different. It's just as well designed. Um, they did put the handles on the side so you can carry it that way. But it's kind of awkward because if you put your hands here and here and you have a rod here, 
it kind of puts the whole thing in your face, which is just kind of weird, you know? I'm gonna, I'll install a handle like I did on the other one, a little carry strap, because it just works. Very nice. Now, also, before I forget, here, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put these screws down in here so I don't lose it. It also came with these little tie-offs, these little omni hooks. These are the little omni hooks. So what you can do is you remove, you pull your bungee back on yours, They've got it where you, so you can attach it and it, it's gonna hook in there like that. But what you do, hold on. Like on this one, this is my Old Town Sportsman PDL 120. Uh, what you do is you're just gonna untie your bungee over there, loop it back through the holes and then loop it through this and it's gonna allow you to just hook it on here. Which I like this because I can use this on multiple tie offs. So I'll definitely install a pair of these at least on this kayak. All right, so the bottom, very nicely done. Put these rubber foot in the corners. That's gonna keep it from sliding around. Works great, especially for kayaks. Kayaks, these little rubber feet make it where your things aren't gonna slide around. Now mine came already put together. I bought mine from Apotomax. River Company. I don't even know if I said that right. If I didn't, I apologize. But very cool, very cool product. Uh, like I said, I ordered mine from them. I also ordered a rod stager that holds the little um, double threat or double action or whatever they call it from Jack Attack. Uh, I wanted one of those. But very cool. I like this. I mean, if you're a creative person, you are going to have a blast with this thing. I mean, you can do a lot with this. Throw those in there. You're gonna just be, able, like I said, whether you want to put those little um, AR tubes like what they have over here, uh, you can put those at an angle. If you didn't want to put them like this, you could put them where they would be slotted back because you've got so many different options. And it would allow you to, if you don't want them straight up and down, if you go through a lot of brush, if you fish a lot of creeks and rivers, uh, you're in a lot of low-hanging branches, so it would allow you to put your rods at an angle and kick them back. You can do that. And you can always just swap everything around. And if you have a narrower kayak than a wide kayak that the 16-inch won't fit in your storage area, you just turn it around. And then you just run your 3600s. Well, you can still run 3700s. It's just your lid's going to be a little cockeyed at that point. But I like the way it's set up. I'm excited. Um, only thing I didn't like is mine only came with four and I need six. So I do have two rod holders, um, forward and two rearward facing ones on my kayak. I can always use those temporarily, but I'm definitely gonna add a couple. And like I said, I'm gonna take the screws out of these handles on the side and uh, move them. But I like this. They See, we got those Omni hook things. We got those. Those go right through there. They've got them here. They've got them all kinds of places. We've got them in these corners. Very nicely done. Very nice. Um, like I said, this is just first impressions. This is me just showing you what I've done to it. Um, got it all put together. And I'm excited. Is this going to replace my other one? I don't know. Um, I really like the original Black Pack. It works really well. Really well. And it just, it's just convenient. But I definitely like this one. Let's see how it looks on the boat. All right, so the question I had was, was it going to work across? Supposedly the dimensions are almost the same, but um, it just also, it doesn't turn into a bucket. I like that. Uh, with all these little holes, if you flip, you flip it back over, it's not going to be an anchor weight. Um, you already have all that dead weight in your tackle box. Um, yeah, a lot of your lures are going to float, but that's still a lot of weight. Um, and it's going to cause it to pull it down, and we don't want that. So like that, it fits this way. So all I have to do is push my latches like that and up it goes. And I like this. The other one did not have that. The other one was just a pivot hinge. It went all the way back, which was convenient at times. But I like this. I like this being where it is, being it locks. So if you flip it up, if you're in your boat, you don't have to reach back and grab it, which was one thing I didn't like about the other one. So like I said, they've taken a bunch of different things and made them better. Uh, on the original one, you had a lot of cool spots. Um, 
on the original, you had the Mighty Mounts here. You had uh, the gear track. I installed those, uh, and I thought those worked really, really well for me. But it only came with one rod tube, which only carried three. So I bought a second one when I found out who they were. They were available on Amazon, so we went that route and just put those on. Put this little tie ball on here, and then, like I said, installed the carry strap. Very nice. I think they definitely did an upgrade on this. It's definitely very nice. All right, so what do you guys think? Which one do you like better? Comment down below. Tell me which one you'd rather have, the original Black, Attack, Black Pack or the new Black Pack Pro. I like both. I think they both have their purpose. Like I said, I think they're uh, they're pricey, but they really do really work really, really well. Yes, you can take a modified milk crate and do a lot of things with it. And, you're, you know, the options are kind of limitless when it comes to a milk crate. But this is really well done. If you have the money and you can afford it, it's a definite upgrade from a milk crate. Uh, if you have the Yak Attack Black Pack original, do I think you need to replace it with the new Pro? That's up to you. Uh, I honestly don't know if I'll do that. I like this one. It came with my new canoe when I bought it used. Uh, the gentleman already had it. He sold it with, he included it. But the Pro is very, very well done. I think it's definitely an upgrade from the other one, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, so there you go. That's the difference between the two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. There'll be a video soon to follow showing you how I've rigged it up and the things I've changed, all the different mods, um, the gear tracks installed, things like that are gonna be really, really cool about this setup. But guys, thanks so much for stopping by. Hope you guys have a wonderful week. I'll put a link down below to the same place I bought mine, and I'll put a link to Yak Attack where you can go and check out all their amazing products. Go over, look at them, see if there's anything that really can help make your time on the water that much better. And guys, thanks. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it the old thumbs up. And if you're not new to our channel, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and get notified every time we post a new video. And thanks again for coming by. Have a great week. Take time this week to get out there. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature. Be prepared. And stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon.